So we talked about mindfulness as being, you know, as much as we pump iron and we run to build our strength up, we need to build our mental strength up. We need to build our mental strength so we can focus, get one pointed attention, and so that we can be in concert with one another in times of need. Mm -hmm. So you just come right back in and collect yourself. So we practiced mindfulness is what you have to do. It's all about the defense. You guys are suffocating, suffocating. They can't score on us if you maintain that energy level, all right? Great stuff. So bring the energy, right? Bring the energy, bring the light, all right? The flow, and I love the pace, I love the energy, but we gotta follow through with some execution. What's up guys, Raw CP3 here, and today I'm bringing you another playbook tutorial. It's a long time coming. I said I can only make content every third week due to my work schedule, but here it is guys. I'm bringing you the Warriors and Lakers playbook tutorial. They're both the same, so if you can save MT on buying one rather than the other, go ahead and do that. If you like these sort of videos, man, if you did like my Magic playbook, I know I had a lot of success with that. Everyone started running the Magic Playbook, so I'm here to bring you another Playbook tutorial to try and mix it up in Supermax. I know everyone's grinding for that Vince Carter, so if you like these videos, guys, please hit that like, sub, turn the notifications on, and let's get into this Playbook tutorial, guys. Let's get into it. Alright, first up, guys, you're going to want to turn these options on to show your play vision showing up in the court to make it easier. And our first play is going to be Zipper 23 Flare. It's a three-point play. As you can see, I call it for Durant. He comes up, grabs it. Goes to your shooting guard, your power forward will come up and set that flare screen right there for KD, the open three. Now the second option in this play, KD, once you pass it to KD, he, sometimes he does get a lot of space. You can pull the trigger straight away, multiple options, open three. Another option in this play is when you pass it to KD, your shooting guard will sometimes have a lot of space. You can pull the trigger straight with him right there. He hits a contested three. So one more time in full guys, your point guard, wait for it to trigger, pass to your small forward, your shooting guard, and wait for that screen, and you'll get the nice open space, and Larry splashes the three. This next play is one of my favourites, it's called Quick One Elevator Rip, another multiple option three point play. You pass to your power forward, your point guard will flare out. Now watch KD as he runs through both of your bigs for the open three. Now once again, LeBron, pass to the power forward. LeBron will run in, flare out, get it to your point guard, and watch KD as he runs through both screens. Boom. Once you see your player run through those two screens, it's pretty much automatic money every time. So here we go again. Derek Rose goes in and flares out. Here's another option. Bang. KD straight through the middle. That's always going to be money for you. Now here's a second option. When you pass to your power forward and your point guard goes in to set that screen, Sometimes you'll flare out and his man won't follow him, so you'll have the open shot for three. So once again, you pass off to your power forward, LeBron goes into screen, and just rolls out, and no one follows him. Easy money. Boom. And here we go again, same play again, Derek Rose comes in. The only reason I added this in is because of that ankle breaker, rest in peace, but here we go. <laughs> pass to the power forward, Derek Rose goes in, flares out, look at that space, easy money, green light, three points. Now the last option in this play, the player you call it for, if he doesn't get open off those double screens, all you need to do is hold it, and the big man who initiated the play will come over and set a pick and fade. You can drive left, or you can go through the middle, and as you can see there, he's open for the open shot. This next play, quick three scissor, you call it for the player you want to end up shooting the ball. Your power forward will come up, pass your shooting guard, and he'll swing around for that double screen, open shot three. Now this is a multiple option play as well, so I call it for KD. I wait, your big man comes up. If he's not open to shoot, your shooting guard will flare out. And once again, look at KD. Circle around your bigs for that open three. So one more time in full. This time I call it for Larry Bird. Your center's going to come around, catch at the top of the key, kick it out to your shooting guard, and your small forward will flare around. And that's Larry Bird. He ended contestant three. So this time, I call the play for Larry Bird again. My center is going to come around to get the ball. And this time, I notice my shooting guard has the space. I pull the trigger, and it was smothered, but I still hit it. Larry Bird once again. And this is another option that can come out of this play. As your center, if you've got a shooting center, if he comes up, he could be open. Just pull the trigger, open shot. This next play, ISO 32 quick. It's very good, and the best thing about it, 
You don't need to be able to run three-point plays to play it. So I call it for LeBron. He's going to catch it. Now I'm going to hold it. Now look at McGrady run around those double screens. Open shot in the corner, three points. Now once again, I call it for Rose. If he's not open, I'm waiting. I see Harden over there. Boom. Easy shot. Once again, ISO 32 quick. If your first option's not open, just hold it and wait for your player to run around those double screens over in the corner. Easy money. This next play, give 42 punch. You call it for your point guard and you're going to throw it down low to your big man. You're going to hold it. Your point guard will get two high screens and you will get open for three. Green lights it from deep. Once again, we call it for Harden this time. So we give it to the point guard. He's going to throw it down low. Harden's going to come around. We're getting doubled and he gets covered. But we, he flares out to the corner. Easy money, three points. Now, another option for this play is when you throw it down low and your player doesn't get open for three, he's going to cut around your big man and go straight to the bucket. If you've got a good ISO player, he's going to be able to beat his opponent off the dribble most of the time. Easy bucket. This next play, Fist 24 Weave, is probably the most effective play in this playbook because of all the player movement and multiple options. This time, I pull the trigger straight away. As you can see, Larry Bird's open, so I pull the trigger. This time we're going to let the play fully develop. So as you can see, we give the handoff there, another handoff, and your big man will come in for a pick and roll. You can either drive and look at Anthony Davis open in the corner. So this time again, we wait for the play to develop, run in for the handoff, run across for another handoff. Boom, pick and roll, but this time I decide just to shoot the ball. Once again, let it trigger. We're going to give the handoff to Larry. He's going to run around, give the handoff to James Harden. He's going to get the pick and roll. And he's going to go straight in and dump off to Kareem. There's just too many options on this play, guys. It's amazing. So once again, one more time. Harden's going to trigger the play. Handoff to Larry Bird. He's going to trigger another handoff. Straight to Derek Rose. He's going to come in for the pick and roll. We get cut off there. But look at the open options we got all around the court. This next play, Fist 52 give, another handoff, multiple option play. As you can see, we trigger. KD runs around for the handoff, he's open, so I just pull the trigger for the three. This time when we trigger the play, T-Mac's going to have the ball. LeBron somewhere, that there he is, he's going to come around. We're going to pass it off, we're going to pass it off to a big man. This is really good if you've got a shooting big man. There we go, Chris Stapps gets the open shot. So one last time here, we're going to get the handoff. And once again, we're going to be open straight away. So if you do get open, you run into his man as well to give him a bit more space. Boom, lands the three. Now this time, we're going to ignore the pass and let a second option trigger. So if you ignore that pass, your player is going to keep flaring around, get that screen, and look how open he is. Three points. Next up, we got quick three chin. This one's going to send your player all the way around the back. He's going to get multiple screens. Here we get double team, so he's left wide open. It's an easy bucket. This time, keep your eye on KD. We call it for KD. You want to call it for the player you want it to shoot. So he runs around all your plays. He's getting all these screens. He hits a contested one there, but the next play, we're going to show how open he can get. So keep your eye on KD. We call it for KD. We let the play trigger. We wait as he runs around all your players. Everyone's setting him picks, and he can get space like that. Now, if KD doesn't get open, so I call it for KD again, and another option in this play... Just don't pass it to him if he's not open. He's going to flare out and get a screen. Kick it to him. Lucky my opponent fell asleep there because he didn't hit the screen. But here we go again. I'll demonstrate it again. So KD is going to run around. He's not going to be open. So he's going to flare out and Chris Stapps will get him a screen going towards the corner. Easy money. This next play, another three-point play. Quick two circle. Ignore the first pass and the player you call it for. Watch Larry Bird. He's looped around everyone. He's getting the screens. And make sure you're icon passing, guys. If you're not good at icon passing, get your, get your practice in. So this time we call it for KD. Ignore the first pass, and that triggers the secondary play. So he's going to loop around everyone on the court. All his opponents is going to be hitting on screens, and he's going to put up that three-pointer. So one more time, guys. This is a great play to catch your opponent slipping. So watch KD, ignores the first pass, he's going to run around everyone on the court, his opponent's going to get hit by multiple screens, and he's going to get that open shot. He was smothered there, but we'll take it. Next play, quick two zip hammer. I run this a bit differently to everyone else. I mean, you can use it for a three-point play, but I pass it off. 
My shooting guard's usually really good ISO and I use it to drive in. It opens up the lane and one side of the court. So that's what I use as like my fifth 92 side player here. So once again, I've usually got Harden or T-Mac at my two guards. So usually they're really good finishing at the rim. So I just use it to charge in and exploit the defense. But as you can see on the perimeter, there's a lot of perimeter movement as well. So as I said, practice your icon passing. Because when you charge to the, into the ring here, usually someone will be running to that corner. And if the defense collapses, you'll have an open corner three. So once again, we pass off to Harden. He's going to go ham. Bang. Easy dunk. One more time. We call it for the three. Boom. A two guard grabs it. Instead of passing, we're going to curl around. It's usually an open lane. Easy money. Now, give 31 5 out is probably my favorite play. It's got the most options. You're going to call it for your point guard. Your big man will catch it. Obviously, he's got two screens right there straight away. You can pick an open player there. So here we go again. LeBron's going to pass to my center. Watch the two screens on either side. We went left. This time, we went right. Now, the next time, we're going to give it off to AD. AD's going to catch. Now, LeBron's going to go down the screen and flare out. If he's got space, like this is good for a Steph Curry as well because it's a limitless range. And the last option on this guy is if all of those were covered, you're going to pass to Kareem. Now if Harden flares out and he's covered, Kareem's going to set a pick and roll. And it's going to open that lane up for you to charge on in. You can even kick it back out to Kareem there if you've got a shooting big. Now once again guys, look at the options develop in this play. It's just amazing. So we're going to kick it out as LeBron flares out. He's going to be covered, so we're going to go with that pick and roll. Go in. Now, if Prawls it here, I take a bad shot, but if you look at the corner, we've got open Chris Stapps. I decided to take the bad shot, but it works out for us anyway. Now, the last play, fist 15 give chin. This is an amazing play for your point guard. A multiple option again. It's a handoff. He's going to cut to the basket. And you look at that, under the ring, easy layup. Now, a second option, we're going to pass off to the center. We're going to ignore that. Ignore the pass. It's going to trigger a second option, and Rose is going to flare back out. Open three-pointer. So we miss that one. We're going to run that back. Call it for Rose. Pass off to your big man. Give the handoff. Bump his man on the way through if you can. Now we're going to ignore the pass in. t Max going to flare out. Green's the three. And hopefully he calls a few rage quits. And there you have it guys, there's my second playbook tutorial, I know you guys had a lot of help with my magic playbook tutorial, I've noticed it in Supermax, everyone seems to be running it now, so I thought I'd put some variety out there, and put the Lakers and Warriors playbook out, I hope this helps you get some more dubs in Supermax, and I hope you get your pink diamond Vince Carter, if you did like this video, please leave a like, a sub, and hit that notification button guys, I'll see you on the next one, peace.